हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम ऑन डिफरेंशियल व्हील एंड एक्सेल डिफरेंशियल व्हील एंड एक्सेल इसे सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन सिंपल लिफ्टिंग मशीन मींस लोड इज लिफ्टेड एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ द मशीन बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एफर्ट अप्लाइड एट अनदर पॉइंट ऑफ द मशीन ओके इन ए डिफारेंसियल हुईल आर प्रॉब्लेम इन ए डिफारेंसियल हुईल एंड एक्सेल द डायमिटार ऑफ द हुईल इज फोर हंड्रेड एट्टी मिलीमिटार द लार्जार एंड स्मलार डायमिटार of the axle are 160 mm 160 mm and 140 mm respectively larger diameter of the axle 160 mm smaller diameter of the axle 140 mm respectively an effort of 320 newton is applied to lift a load of 8000 newton find number 1 velocity ratio number 2 mechanical advantage number 3 efficiency of the machine number 4 effort lost due to friction okay we already know differential wheel and axle here this is the spindle this is smaller axle diameter d1 this is bigger axle diameter d2 this is the wheel where effort p is applied diameter of the wheel capital d here load lifted when spindle rotated one revolution this string lift upward pi d2 this string move downward pi d1 so distance moved by load this load lifted up distance moved by load x equal to pi d2 minus pi d1 by 2 okay it is already we know for one revolution of the spindle distance moved by effort y equal to pi capital d okay so distance moved by load x equal to pi d2 minus pi d1 by 2 distance moved by effort y equal to pi capital d velocity ratio velocity ratio y by x equal to pi d pi capital d distance moved by effort by pi capit small d2 minus small d1 by 2 distance moved by 
load so our formula is 2 capital d by d2 minus d1 m a equal to w by p w load lifted p, p effort applied so efficiency of the machine eta equal to m a by v r m a equal to w by p by v r equal to 2 capital d by d2 minus d1 equal to w by p into d2 minus d1 by 2 capital d okay it is already we know now our problem is given capital d diameter of the wheel 480 millimeter diameter of the wheel is 480 millimeter d2 given diameter of the larger axle equal to 160 millimeter diameter of the larger axle 160 millimeter d1 diameter of the smaller axle equal to 140 millimeter diameter of the smaller axle 140 millimeter okay now w load lifted equal to 8000 newton load lifted equal to 8000 newton p effort applied 320 newton effort applied 320 newton we know in differential wheel and axle number one velocity ratio vr equal to 2 capital d by small d2 minus small d1 capital d diameter of the wheel small d2 diameter of the larger axle small d1 equal to diameter of the smaller axle we just put 2 into capital D equal to 480, 480, D2 equal to 160, 160, D1 equal to 140, 140 equal to 48. This is the answer. Velocity ratio has no unit. Velocity ratio equal to 48. This is the answer. Now, number 2, mechanical advantage, ma equal to, we know, w by p, w here, w load lifted equal to 8000 newton, 8000 newton, p equal to, p equal to, effort applied equal to 320 newton, 320 newton equal to 25. We know, mechanical advantage has no unit it is 25 new this is the answer now number three efficiency of the machine we know efficiency of the machine ma equal to ma by vr ma equal to we already find out 25 vr equal to we already find out 48 equal to 0 0.5208. We know efficiency of the machine always find out in percentage. So, 0 0.5208 equal to 52.08 percent. Okay, it is clear. Now, Number 4, effort loss due to friction. We know effort loss due to friction equal to P minus P ideal. P equal to actual effort, 
minus p i equal to ideal effort equal to p minus p actual equal to w by v r w load lifted by velocity ratio. So, p equal to 320 p equal to 320 minus w equal to 8000 newton 8000 newton velocity ratio v r we find out velocity ratio 48 this is 48 equal to 153.33 newton 153.33 newton this is the effort lost due to friction okay it is clear my student thank you